Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you hero of all of my trips. My only dove, my car. I shared tons of videos on Instagram and TikTok, but since my YouTube channel is new, I haven't shared any detailed video of my car and I decided to make one. Can you imagine? I did over 50,000 miles all around the United States with this. Ready to meet? Let's go. So before I go in, I want to show you from outside all of it, the things that I like and the things that I don't like. Look at that front, that lights and the look, isn't that a beast? And for the Camaro family, this is the RS. So we got LS, RS, SS and the top is the L1, right? So I am second in the row. But I got so many features since it's, it's a full package. Um, I'll show you the inside too. So let's walk. And yeah, uh, my front tires are smaller than the back ones. It's a rear wheel drive, so. And yeah, let's take a look from the back. Look at that badass, what I call it. And the thing that I don't like, that I like the most actually, and the new generation Camaros don't even have it, which is like the sixth or the after ones. This is the fifth generation of the Camaros, right? And I really like see that lights and the plates. It is just nice and sexy. Exactly what I need. But the new ones, they got like, um, the lights are long and going all the way up. So I, I really don't like that. But this is, this is what I need. So let's pop the trunk. And yeah, the one of the things, I mean, it's all right, more than all right, but you see the opening of the trunk, it's a little small. Sometimes I have a hard time putting two, three suitcases, especially if they're like mid to large sizes, but I live with it, so it, it's all good. And yeah, I'm just gonna close it. All right, um, so. Yes, also my plates. I love my Washington DC plates. Red and white are only my Turkish colors. And just add blue on them, then Murka happens. And Artuccio is all good to go on the roads. And the color. It's not quite the casual red, but it's a reminder of the burgundy tones. That's why it's called Victor Red. But I like it a lot. And one last thing before I go in, it's this. Yep, it's the remote start. I love it. Just got in and I want to start from the dashboard. Now, as you guys can see too, I'm at 62,500 miles. And one thing right here, I really like it a lot. It is the heads up display. It's right here. And as you guys can see the, um, those lights, basically this dashboard becomes as a reflection on the road right there. So that's pretty cool, it's pretty neat. And one other thing in here, I really like it a lot. It's the, all these features, you can see them in little dashboards right here. Oil pressure, oil temperature, transmission temperature, and the walls. So that's pretty neat too. And also one other thing in the doors, See right there. Normally I have lights at the nighttime, not now, but that's pretty cool too. You don't feel like it's so dark in the car, and it's kind of like a light blue, and it's nice looking, really nice looking. So same thing on this side, right here. 
And yes, on the right you see the RPM and on the left you see the mile per hour, it's 160. As I said again, it's 2012 Chevy Camaro RS, but the full package, it is 323 horsepower. Not quite like the SS or of course the ZL1, but I still love it and it's still stock. I haven't done anything yet. And as you guys can see, it's automatic, but I can use the stick shift if I want to. Here is the tap shift handle. So if I want to, I can use that too. And as I told you, oh, one more thing in here too. Once I put it on R, and then see, I got the camera right there. This is like one of the most useful features in the car. I really like that a lot. And I put it on park again. And of course, inside too, it's full package, leather seats. The back isn't that much of a space right there in the back, but it's fine. I fit five, six people back in the day with old friends. As I said earlier too, I haven't done anything on it yet. It's fully stuck at this moment, but I would like to have a really nice exhaust system and some other features really soon. So I'm on it that too. With all the features and everything, this is 2012 model year. It got hands-free calling, even in that year, that's how it built. It got Bluetooth, so AOS, and pretty much everything. So, it was worth it. Also, I got the sunroof too, right there. It's a beautiful day out. Then I can get the sunset a little bit. All right. For the states, Tens of cities, many small country towns, national parks, and state parks. All I have visited with this car. And I already have many memories with it. Now, I have only 10 more states to go. I like to see all those new places and destinations in my mirrors on those states. And finally, my goal is to finish visiting all 50 states by the, at the end of the year. So, many more trips are coming. And yes, my folks are asking me all the time like how much this one works because the Camaro, if it's ZL1, it can be $50,000 or upper, even $70,000. But um, starting from LS, you can buy a Camaro from basically like starting from $20,000, even the brand new ones. But mine was RS back in the day when I bought it and yes, it was $26,000 and I have a little story too when I bought it actually. Um, since I live in DC, I was searching all around DC and I, I couldn't find it uh, less mileage and a good price and I found one car eventually and I, I went to dealer and I was gonna do the deal a couple days later, I was still not sure if I should buy that one because it were like kind of Transformers, Bumblebee, but after a couple days I went to that dealer and they said it's sold. Normally these cars, yes, I mean they can sell easily too, but they don't, they don't, they don't sell that easy. It was just sold in two days and I said, okay, I'm gonna expand my research and hope like I, I, I'm gonna try to find something better. And that car that I was gonna buy, the black one, it was like 23,000 miles on it already. And it was still like $27,000 or something. So I expanded the research and this came out from uh, Pennsylvania on the research. And it was just 6,000 miles on it. And the color looked pretty fine. And I drove with my friend uh, one day after we talked with the dealer, I bought it, got back, and since then, 
Yes, I made over 50,000 miles all around the United States. I made like 10 to 12,000 uh, um, in DC, the city driving, but most of the miles that I made, it's country, highways, interstate. Just an example, couple of my trips. My last biggest trips, I drove from Washington DC to Texas, El Paso, all the way and draw back from uh, Midwest all the way back to DC. That was the longest. For an example, the first one, I drove from Washington DC to again, the Key West and the back from the different route. I drove from Washington DC to Boston, Washington DC to Niagara Falls, Washington DC to Kentucky, Washington DC to Utah. So all that 50,000 miles has lots of nice and good memories so that's what i had to make a one video about just about my car to share with you guys and let me know what you uh, think about my car in the comments so people say oh this is not a road trip car like that like this but as a road tripper again i don't know about a lot of things but one thing that i can say i know about a lot it's the road tripping right so the first thing as a road tripper you gotta like driving second thing as a road tripper you gotta like what are you driving so those two golden rules has to be <laughs> met so if i'm just driving like something that i don't like and i don't enjoy driving it's it's not gonna make so much fun for me because Again, like driving from DC to Texas, it's a lot of miles. It's lots of miles. Then on the road, you want to like what you drive. So you want to enjoy that. So, yeah. And hope you guys enjoy the, enjoy the video. And, yep, follow me on the road for upcoming adventures. I'll be sharing all of my um, videos on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook too also. So, see you guys on the road.